Hey everybody, it is Jason from the Texas Gun Vault 2, and I just released a video about my new Colt 630 clone made of all those Brownell retro parts. And I always say this every time I build an AR, especially an SBR. I say, that's it, I'm done. I got enough ARs. Um, but there's something about building the guns that's just exciting and fun. It's cool to track down all the parts and to do all the research. It's this intellectual pursuit. It's the exercise of doing the research that I absolutely love because the more I research the guns, learn their history, the more I'm like, ah, that's so cool. I want to build it. And it's kind of like a disease, you know what I'm saying? So you're like, okay, I'm done. And then you're like, uh i got to build one more because you get into something. And so even though I just finished that one, I'm starting another project. And uh, I want to do it with the lower receiver. I talked about a couple days ago on one of my other uh, videos. This is that Colt U.S. Property Marked M4A1 Carbine lower receiver. And I don't want to tell you what gun I'm going to build, but... I want to change a part and show you what I'm putting on it and see if you guys can figure it out. So I'm going to change out the grip. So that's the only part on this lower receiver I have to change to make it a good clone. So let me see here. I need to put this lower in a vise. Let's see here. All right. All right, there we go. Let's pop it here into my vise. Let's change out this grip. And I'm gonna show you what grip I'm going to install. This is the Fab Defense AGF 43S folding pistol grip for the M16, M4, or AR-15. And this is the correct grip for this build. So I'm curious if you already know. So I've already started to do my research, try to track down parts for the upper, all that kind of fun stuff. So I've actually used Fab, De uh, Fab Defense parts in the past, and I've been pretty happy with them. They make good stuff. So yeah, it, it folds, and it's supposed to be for storage, which is also another hint of what this is designed for. So it looks like, let's see here, how would this thing come apart? Maybe I should take my screwdriver here and push this little tab. I think that's what it's supposed to be for. Yeah, I gotta figure out how to get this thing open. I guess it's a little button right there. Hmm, do I have any little punches? It's probably designed to have a bullet the tip of a bullet to actuate it to get into that compartment so let's see if that's the case here maybe not but i got to get it off because i got to install it on the lower so i have to have access to the grip screw there it goes yeah so it has a little storage compartment I'm just going to push that a little bit hard all right so do you have any ideas yet post them in the comments but while I'm doing this and changing this out, I want to talk about meeting somebody really cool who's been a huge supporter of my channel. Now, you guys may have heard of me talk about a guy here on YouTube. He goes by the name of The Doctor, and he's a guy that really I owe a lot of my success on YouTube to because he oh, dropped a spring. He was the guy that really helped me get away from doing videos on my cell phone to videos um, using a camera, a nice camera. He contacted me and said, hey, I really like your, your content, but I would like to see you do more. And he gave me the money to purchase my first camera, which I think really upgraded the content of my channel and kind of really helped me grow. And uh, he was actually in town. It looks like he's going to be moving to the area. And uh, he has a very successful business. And he's like, hey, I'm going to be in town. Uh, let's meet up for a dinner. And so we met at Del Frisco Steakhouse. My wife and I went to, went to meet him. Um, what a cool guy. What a cool guy. And I cannot thank him enough for the support of my channel. So 
All right, one thing I need to go get. Oh, it's an interesting marking there. I've never seen that, that before. Huh. I need to go get a towel here for my oily rags to kind of wipe this down before I install it. I like to get any other gunk off the receiver before I put new, new parts on. So hopefully this should be a relatively easy install. All right, put the safety detent spring in there. All right, that goes like it should. And we got the screw and we got the washer. Which way should it go? I think it's fine either way. So here we go. I hate having to do this. I always have a hard time with this screw getting it into these grips in that hole. Yeah, I already messed it up. <laughs> oh, come on. I really should have a magnetic screwdriver for all of this. Makes life a little bit easier. Maybe I can walk it up. Maybe. Uh, but this is, this is the joy of building these things, man. You get better each time. And then, of course, depending on the item you're trying to install, maybe there's something tricky about it. And this one definitely is a little bit on the tricky side. Maybe I can get that screw set first. And I'm sure some people out there are probably like, oh, that's so easy to do. Why are you struggling with that? Oh, see, I just learned something. I guess you're not supposed to use that washer because it's not going to fit. So I guess I got to use just the screw by itself. Let's see if that fits. They didn't provide a screw. So I guess I got to use the one that's provided from Colt. Let's see here. Huh. Man, that's hard to get in that grip. There you go. You guys are going to see me struggling with this. Of course, it doesn't go in. Man. All right. Here we go. Take our time. Maybe. Maybe. Well, this is some real behind-the-scenes gun vaulting. There we go. All right. Okay, so that works. So that fits. Okay. So let's go ahead and put that spring back in that hole. There we go. I think we're good now. All right. And typically you don't want to tighten these down too much. I like to make them where they're snug. Now I will say on some AR builds or guns that I have bought, I've actually had the grip become loose because I always feel like the companies don't want to tighten them down to too much. Obviously they don't want to hurt the, the threading, but sometimes they don't tighten them down enough. And let's see if I can find a better screwdriver here. Ugh. It's a little bit more narrow. There we go. That should work. But yeah, so I like to tighten them down enough, but probably a little bit tighter than what I think a lot of companies do. Because as I said, I've had them come out before and come off and be loose. And I don't want that, that to happen with my build. So it's not like I over, you know, torque them down or tighten them down. But I definitely put on a little bit of pressure. All right, so I think we got this. Let's get it off the block. All right, so there it is with the new grip. So let's make sure the safety works. All right, that works for me. Grip is on there nice and tight. And now let's fold it. And that's how it stores. So there is your clue. So let me know what you think in the comment section below. And now you know it's time for me to do another clone build. Oh yeah, look at that. There's the, uh, the screw right there. Interesting. Very, very cool. Interesting how it all comes apart. Not what I was expecting. But anyway, there, but there you go. And I guess to engage it, there it is. Locks in pretty cool. All right. So I got to meet a huge supporter of my channel. So thank you, the doctor, in, in case you see this. And tell me, what am I cloning?
So let me know in the comment section below. And as always, thanks for watching.